What's it like uh, living in Japan as a black person? Okay, uh, first of all... Honestly, it is what it is. Like, me being black in Japan... If we were like a bunch of, bunch of white dudes walking around, maybe we'll get... Any black person out there who's watching your channel and wants to come here, I don't think there's any reason to worry. Mm. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. Today I'm going to interview uh, black people in Japan. What's it like being black in Japan? And then I got many comments asking black people what's it like living in Japan. Something like that. So, I'm, so I decided to make a video this topic. Okay, let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living. And you can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. And on my Instagram, I show my daily life in Tokyo and share information about Japan. So if you haven't followed yet, please follow it too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, thank you for your help. Where are you from? I'm from America. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How long have you been in Japan? Uh, this will be my sixth year in Japan. Six years? Mm -hmm. Oh, six years? Six years. Oh, oh long. Yeah. long. Uh, can I ask what you do? So I teach middle school and high school kids, um, not conversation English, but like academic English and academic mm -hmm. writing and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So you're from America. Mm -hmm. So you're black American. Mm -hmm. What's it like? What's it like living in Japan as a black American? It's... You have any opinion? It's, I have many opinions. <laughs> when I first moved here, I felt like a spectacle. I felt like a lot of people were looking at me. Mm. Um, mm, yeah, I just felt like a lot of people were looking at me. But now that I've lived here for so long, it just feels like where I would live anywhere else, people are just going to look because they have this, mo this notion of black people. So there's always like, oh, well, can she do this? Or can she speak Japanese oh. or stuff like that? So like, honestly, it, it is what it is. Like. Me being black in Japan would, wouldn't be any different from me being black in like uh, Europe or China or anything to me personally because I just think that people are going to look anyway. They're mm. going to make assumptions about me anyway. So, I mean, you might as well give them a show. Okay. I wanted to, I wanted to ask you this question uh -huh. specifically. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Tokyo, mm -hmm. young Japanese people, mm -hmm. they do, you know, their hair like dread. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Do you think it's yeah, what do you think? Um, yeah. Some people say like, oh, it's appropriation and other people will say like, oh, no, it's appreciation. I personally don't like it, but I can't make anybody do anything. Mm. So I'll just I'll just sit and look and mind my business. Last question, do you speak Japanese? Yeah, of course. Anybody, if you live here for longer than three years, I personally think that you should learn more Japanese. Don't be that 25 year old that's like, uh, I don't know any Japanese, and you live here for like 50 years and like, I'll never learn. Like, that's stupid. I think that's stupid. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your help. Uh -huh, um, no problem. Where from? I'm from, <clears throat> I'm from uh, right outside DC. How long have you been in Japan? I've been in Japan since 2016. 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you do? Oh, I am an English teacher. I work with little kids, uh, and I teach them English. But forget all that. I'm actually I'm a rapper. I'm a I'm a recording artist, a singer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I go by Jay the protagonist. You know all platforms, Spotify, iTunes, everything like that. Today I'd like to ask you about life in Japan as a black person. Uh -huh. How do Japanese people see black people? Mm. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, well, when it comes to stuff like that, you know, uh, you know, my perception, I don't really know how they see me. You know, that's a, that's a very good mm. question. No, I've never actually asked uh, a Japanese adult how they yeah. see me. Or, or something like that, and no one's ever really told me either. So it's, mm. but I I do imagine a lot of people when they hear the word foreigner, they might think of a white person. Generally, you know. Yeah, that's generally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like usually when they're like hiring for a job or something like that, and they want like hire a foreigner, you know, in their mind they want like a white guy. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They not they're not usually not picturing like like a black guy or oh. something like that. You know, you know when they hear foreign, you know, foreign and and a and a white person, they're like synonymous. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They're like yeah, interchangeable. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, but uh, you know. Uh, like like I said, all my friends and like all my homies were like rappers and artists. So usually when we go someplace like together or like in a group, we're performing, right? So we get a lot of love and we get a lot of support. 
you know, hip hop is very mm -hmm. popular. You yeah, know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's global. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So no matter where we go, what we do, you know, we get love. So it's been mostly positive. You know, uh, like I said, I think if we were uh, if we were like a bunch of bunch of white dudes walking around, maybe we'll get maybe we'll be treated a little better. But we're not exactly treated bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah. I see, I see. <laughs> like you know, hip hop in general, it's trending in Japan. Yeah. And many you know guys, you know Japanese guys, you know they listen hip hop and then you know they getting know about you know black culture, right, like right, including right. hip hops, you know. Yeah. So yeah, maybe that's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a cultural thing. Uh, in America, actually, they like black people as a culture. Yeah. They don't necessarily like us as a people. Mm. But when it comes to embracing us as people, you know who we actually are, uh, we got a lot of work. It's kind of the same here. Uh, but I'd imagine there's not as many black folks here in Japan as there are white folks. We just need a few more of us out here just to, you know, you know, show what our actual culture and uh, our, actual, our actual way of living mm. is like, you know. But we all people. We all the same. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really much of a difference. They're everywhere. Okay. <laughs> uh, last question. Do you speak Japanese? Uh, my Japanese is very low. You know, actually with my job, we're encouraged to only speak English. Most of the Japanese I learn is from my students. So when I speak to an adult, I got to be very careful of what I'm saying to make sure it doesn't sound like stupid or silly or, or cute or something like that, you know. Okay. So it's tough, you know. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you no so problem, much. Man. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank it. you for having me. Um, thank you for your help. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Kenya. I'm also from Kenya. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, you too. Um, how long have you been in Japan? Uh, right now, two months, but I have been here before. In 2020, I was here for like nine months. And then now I'm back, it's been two months. It's been two months. Mm. So in total, almost a year? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, I've been here, I think in total, this is my fifth year. Well, like, what's it like being African in Japan? Like, what's it like being a black mm. in Japan? Mm. Do you have any opinion on that, first of all? Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a bit different for us being black compared to like, the white people. Mm. But then it's not bad. I'd say, mm. my personal experience, you'd get a few stares sometimes, but mostly no one cares. Mm. <laughs> so that's good. I've had a, I haven't had any negative experiences in terms of my racial identity, because in my opinion, Japanese are very welcoming. Mm. And even the stares that you get, it's not, it's not malicious. Mm. It's uh, people are just curious. True. True. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so if you look at it in that way, because if it's not something you see every day, so when you see someone different, of course you're, you're going to be curious. So sure. it's not something malicious and, and people are friendly. There have been so many cases where um, I've been helped yeah, so by, many yeah, so, so many times, <laughs> I've, I've been helped by strangers, by Japanese. And I think that is something that I'm really grateful for. And the country itself, the systems, they have systems in place to help foreigners. Yeah, so any, any black person out there who's watching your channel and wants to come here, I don't think there's any reason to worry. Mm. Yeah, because Japan is very welcoming, in my opinion. Mm, nice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, next question. When Japanese people refer the word foreigners, mm. it's usually like European or American, like Western people. Or maybe Asian, like Chinese or Koreans. When I ask Japanese people about black people or African people, from my perspective, they don't have much like um, knowledge. Mm. They don't have much experience to seeing them. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. But at the same time, I feel like, just as she said, this is not something or these are not people they see so many of because even when you walk through a station you might see maybe just one other black person apart from you so if they haven't seen as many black people they don't know what to expect and so i'm not so sure but i'd love to ask a japanese person what they you, you're think. Not too. <laughs> so we we need to differentiate between the the blacks also so <laughs> yeah true yeah because there's black african and there's black american this is just my opinion my view I think a lot of Japanese have more experience with black Americans and they can sort of identify more with them because of the media, you know, they consume their movies, the, 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 the movies, the music from That's black right. American, mm, right? Mm. But not black African. And if you tell them you're from Africa, I think the first thing that comes to their mind is 
the the national parks the animals <laughs> the parks true the, the parks and and that's what africa is best known for that's what kenya is <laughs> mm, not, not just not just for japanese people right yeah yeah no, right. yeah, yeah. yeah even not, to not other just Africans. For, even for other tourists <laughs> even for other white people to other foreigners i meet who are not africans probably i think if we need to to like uh, change the perception the mm. japanese perception towards <laughs> black Africans, we need to put ourselves, our culture, our mm, our normal life mm. in you know out there, not not just the tourist the tourist side of it. Mm. Yeah, actual actual life. Actual mm. life. True. Last question: Do you speak Japanese? No. <laughs> Maybe ask me this question in like one year, <laughs> okay. and the answer will be yes. I speak yeah. Japanese. Mm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And um, thank you for your help. Where are you from? I'm from Jamaica. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Just a chance. What brought you to Japan? Uh, first, I took a flight from. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I okay. Actually, I actually wanted to escape. Jamaica, and I wanted to expand my worldview, so to speak. How long have you been in Japan? A long time, like over 10 years. Over 10 years? Mm -hmm. What's it like uh, living in Japan as a black person? Okay, uh, first of all, a lot of times I forget what color I am because uh, Japanese people are not outwardly racist, thank God. Mm. And um, so I often forget what color I am. But in any case, um, I've had many more positive experiences. Mm. In, in fact, Japanese people give, give me more positive qualities or more superstar qualities than I have. Like they think I can definitely play, play basketball or they think I'm probably a good singer mm. or they think I am somehow athletically blessed or something. Yeah, that's kind of like... <laughs> positive stereotype. Yeah, positive stereotype the Japanese have towards you know, black people, right? Yeah, and that's good. Mm. Um, the more you interact with Japanese people and you enter their social circle, the more they treat you like one of them. There are certain social rules that you have to accept. Japanese society is based on a lot of social rules. Mm. And even a Japanese person who doesn't behave in the way that is, mm. is expected, even they will be rejected. I believe there is a saying that the, yeah. the nail that sticks up gets hammered down. Mm. So the best thing you can do in Japan is try not to stand out in a bad way. And if you just behave like Japanese people, then you'll be accepted. But not like you're mimicking them, because then that's, that's another, different. that's a that's totally different, different thing. Uh -huh. Accepting the unspoken social rules. So th things like taking off your shoes before you go inside, things like wearing a mask if you have a cold, don't talk loudly on the train, for the love of God. I'm the only foreigner who lives in my apartment complex, and I wondered why they accepted me. I remember back when I was signing a contract with a real estate agency, mm. I heard her saying on the phone to the owner, oh. And then I was wondering, Nihonjin poi, is it me, my face, or what? But then Your I realized, behavior, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Japanese people accept if you behave just like them, but in fact, you're a guest in the country, so you should behave better. Last okay. question. Mm. This, this speaks Japanese. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. I'm also planning to interview Latin people, Latino people, asking them like what's it like being Latin in Japan, like um as I did uh asking like you know, Asian people. If you are from Latin country, can you like give me some question idea that I can interview, I can ask them. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question that you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave a comment too. See you next time.